Man, this cheap telehandler, it just refused to load. Let me show you where we are and how we got here. All right, let me show you what we've done. We've taken that, that mechanism out, the uh, mechanism that springs out and uh, tracks in. We've taken that out so that now the fuel is only going to be open. So we don't need to apply power to this. Um, and then we'll get it cranked up and how we'll kill it is we'll like put it in high gear and well, no, I mean, you know, we just lower it down, take it, uh, engine down to speed, then kill it with the bottom and out of train, uh, yeah. hydraulics or something. If it don't, we just let it run till it runs out of fuel. <laughs> let it running on top of it on the trailer. Yeah. So it was two hundred and something dollars at the John Deere place, hundred and fifty dollars at the parts house, and then you can buy one off Amazon for forty. And so I could buy four of them from Amazon by the time I got the one out of the parts house, you know? But I will say this, if you didn't catch the last video, Area Diesel kind of helped help us walk through the process. Once we figured out it was the solenoid, um, you, you got the, uh, yeah, there you go. There's the 9 Right here. All right. And in the last video, this thing caught on fire twice. <laughs> they just seen one, though. Oh, well, did they? They didn't yeah, see the other one? didn't see the other one. All right, let's take all this garbage off so when it, get, it goes, we're going to go. All right, got the disconnect on here. All right, I'm ready whenever you are. All right. I didn't do that. What'd you say hey for? I was over there when you was tilting it over trying to get the starter button out. I was in the kill zone. Oh. I didn't do that. But it should run enough. I keep giving it throttle, it'll run enough. Well, get out of the way, I'm going. Oh. I felt a fajita slip out. <laughs> Give it some fuel, Hank. Do what? Give it some fuel. All right, go. I'm giving it fuel. Hang on. Let it idle then. Uh -huh. Don't do anything. Don't do anything, let it idle. I wonder if that, I wonder if that's, I wonder if that metering valve is closing and we need a way to stick, to hold it open, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it probably naturally wants to close. Let's see if it runs idling again. Let's try it without the top on it. Hang on, just before you do that, let me try this. I wonder if that's possible. Screwdriver, where's the starter button?
just need the screwdriver. I thought it might be. Some of it evidently came back for a little bit, didn't it? I don't know. I thought you. I just don't look like that's going to do the run without. A cap because that's full. Now you pull it back toward you to run. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Can you stick a, like a block of wood in there or something? Piece of metal in there to keep it? I'm serious. Put a stick, uh, like a chalk in there. <laughs> you can. Let's hit it. You can't, you can't, I can't turn it, you so you can't, it's gonna have to be running. Okay, okay. Uh, do what? I said okay. Yes, that, uh, that rod coming out of here. Oh, you just dropped something. Did have something to do. It was just two of those bolts is all. That rod did have something to do with holding that down. Yeah. So, uh, or we can just order a part and come back and put it on and then load it when I get the part. Yeah, because you know it, nothing matter where the fuel pump is that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, you know, that's what we'll do. We'll just order the part. I'll use your credit card and we'll, uh, okay. Well, I'll use the credit card that you stole from that girl you were seeing down there in Geneva. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hope, hope she's not a watcher. <laughs> What's he looking for? The magnet. I see one of them. I see both of them. It'd be a lot easier to pick up. Oh, and that too. Boom, back, come back. Right there. Well, rats. No, I mean, not really. Uh, uh, it's got some washers yeah. missing. I'll steal one off this one. Yeah. You need a washer <laughs> when you got a dryer. My wife gets so mad, man, when we uh, when I put these diesel soaked clothes on there in the washing machine. What's what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I keep that in there. We can try it. Yeah, absolutely. It don't take nothing to try. 
Don't you hate getting a scab on the top of your hand and then every time you put your hand in your pocket and pull it out, it rips a new one? <laughs> Nay. No, we're not concerned about what side it come over no more, are we? No, sir. That's what happens when you play. <laughs> 21 card pickup, 52 <laughs> card pickup. Uh, I don't know what you did with the screwdriver. Oh, you're going to need a 916. Look at that. I found your hip, Wally. <laughs> Maybe that worked, huh? Well, yeah, we'll know. Well, yeah, we'll know soon long. enough. Yeah, we'll know soon enough. Huh? Watch yourself. It's not going to do it. Just try to back it up out of his driveway. All right. I ought to just leave it in his driveway. <laughs> All right. And when you bump it, it's going to... Alright, she's in neutral. Neutral. Alright, try it one more again. Alright, come on. Maybe one more. Give me three steps. Just a second. Alright, let's let me look do it and let me lower the boom. <laughs> That's good enough. All right. Hopefully that's all it needs is... Ow, I've hit that dog on hose more than you have, I think. All right, you remember what size that was? Oh, it was a, it was a screwdriver. Screwdriver size. Nine sixteenths on the... Getting the fuel line off. Nine sixteenths on the fuel yeah. line. We'll be out of here in twenty minutes. You want to take this one off? I'll get lower. I'm gonna go get some gloves. You know what? That little cylinder up there is still leaking. <laughs> My goodness. So I'm going to repack all the cylinders when I get it back to the house. Or I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take it to somebody to do it. Man, I should have worn a long sleeve shirt. 
Yeah, we're either gonna drive it on or push it on today. Yeah, that's right. Scrap's bringing nine and a half cent a pound, so you shouldn't lose. <laughs> Too much money. Too much money. It went up, huh? Huh? It went up, huh? Yeah. That war going on, I guess. Making bombs and bullets out of it. That's what they do. Feet they. What was that movie where? You can't like like reflex. Yeah, it was all over that. But probably not deep enough. That's nah, awesome. What size is that? Eleven thirty seconds. Oh, I happen to have one. There's a movie like Wagging the Dog or Wagging the Tail or something like that. I can't remember. What's that saying when they, it's basically a war machine, is it? Yeah. I think I remember that name. So, if, if you haven't seen the video of us getting this thing to this point, Make sure you check that out because it's got some backstory to it. And also, I can't remember. While is it this video or? Has this been a couple days since we've been out here that we called Area Diesel? I, I think it was this video actually. So Area Diesel helped us out. So but we are very grateful of that. You guys do this kind of work at you're at your place. How many of you have a telehandler? Let me know in the comments if you have a telehandler. I'm excited about owning the machine. Look at that. That one's missing a. Or did we take that off? We took that off. We're just gonna try to run it manual. Uh -huh. I mean, it's dummy proof. Not yeah. You gotta go the other way. Huh? Is that right? Well, it certainly can't go the other way. No, right here. Yeah, I think the spring. I think the spring goes toward the front. No. Maybe. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, that spring catches onto that mechanism up here. Right there, the metering valve. How's it going to reach way up there? Well, it definitely ain't gonna reach way up there if you got it turned around the other way. Uh, that's true. All right. Or did that go underneath it? I don't, I don't think it matters, does it? I don't either. I think it's gonna seal from the bottom. Yeah. Okay, that's the top. So that goes on here. This. Then this. Then. This. Then this, and this, then, then the wire, then um, the wire goes in between this jam nut and that, you know what I mean?
I wonder if it goes underneath the That right there what it's gonna push. Right. Oh I'm sorry, bud. Nah, that's all right. It's just my hand. You got two of them, don't you? My daughter went ahead and bought me a couple of presents. Right. And I already knew what was in them. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah, I can I can do that. Oh, you got that telepathy? It's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Uh, I didn't tighten that down, by the way. It's a gift. I wonder if I gotta go get some ether for this thing. That one catching on fire again, you know? Yeah. Probably won't need any ether if it works. <laughs> Is that new battery that you left in here? I did, but I disconnected it. Okay. I turned the disconnect on. That's even greater. I'm sorry? That's even better. No battery token. Yeah. 916. You got it switched on? Uh-uh. You got the power switched on? No, sir. I didn't know what happened to that 916. Switch, I think. All right. Feel like it's doing something? No. No. We can do that. Ooh, that's hot. We can uh, hook it up and need the screwdriver. No, I don't, I don't need that right now. Let me see if it, I'm sorry, I need the 916s. Yeah, I'm not sure where it's at. Is it in your hoodie pouch? No. Mm. Your kangaroo pouch? No. For real? I didn't hand it back to you when I moved that. I mean, you may have. That. But I promise you it ain't, ain't here. Oh, here it is. It just don't feel like that was turning on, really. Yeah. Honestly. Smoke it all, huh? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Screwdriver. Nine sixteenths. I got these back here. Well, the good thing about it, it's not terrible to take off. Essentially, that solenoid, and I think we've explained this a couple of times throughout the video, but that solenoid is, it's got a spring in it that's pushing that metering valve down that's shutting off the fuel or opening up the fuel so the fuel flows. And if you don't have it on there right, as evident as what we've done now, then the fuel won't flow and your engine won't run. 
But these fuel pumps need to be timed. These fuel pumps need to have X amount of pressure in them. But they're not complicated. Let me see. Yeah, white smoke. See how it just pushed that off right there? Yeah. We're on the ground. All right, I get it. That gave it fuel. I can't see the viewfinder, so I think that, but I can see it. All right, so we know it pulls it back to switch it on. But it's got to, I guess it rests right there. I had it in the wrong spot, I reckon. And then that lets it go. China. <laughs> Made in China. Made in China. The other one went doing that, remember? Yeah. You don't remember. No, I do remember. I promise I do. I'm just taking a look at these cylinders, just thinking, how in the world am I going to get those suckers off there? Very carefully, I reckon. You'll probably just leave the barrel attached and just pull the ram out. Well, that's what I was looking at out there. I mean, not to divert your attention, but it looks like that pin's going to be yeah. challenging. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, it can be. Definitely can see if that makes a little dip, dip for... You turn it off? Uh-uh. <clears throat> it ain't liking that ground, is it? Or that connection. I don't have something right. Let's see what it'll do now. That's crazy, ain't it? I don't hear it clicking, so maybe. Maybe this. Trying to sell it. No, no white smoke. I don't have something right. I'm putting the cap back on it. Which way was that going up? No, he's pulling it in. Back is on. It should start right there. Okay. 
gotta go right there. Does it push that down? It must. Because I'm thinking to my, okay, and you know. Then it, and then when it clicks on, it lets it. So you know what I was thinking? How does the throttle work against that uh, powered solenoid spring right there? That's pulling it back and letting it go to that point where I was at. So it's got to hold it there. But when you energize that um, solenoid, what, what's that lever going to do? Go toward the back of the tractor? Yeah. And Is let it, this. And that's a good thing. All right, here you go. The front. I believe you got it this time, Wiley. I think... It would have been too easy to put a manual on one of these over there. You could just turn it. Yeah. Click, are you? No. I am not. Oh, I just ain't got that in there right. I just. I what the trouble is. Let me see if I can Google how that connects. You, you know? Let me... See, now it already start right there because it's... That, that uh, to me, does that not look off to you? And then that's on? Yeah. And I'm pulling it back. I 
I got a pocket knife. Some redneck engineering right here. Piece of Metal. like rubber or something that yeah. Because John Deere was like, we're not gonna let anybody <laughs> put a yeah. fuel line to. Let me get a different set of eyes on. Let me look in there and see. Well, come on, oh. help yourself. Yeah. Goes back and then goes. So this this uh, clamp or the hook is in front of that meter and valve. All right, if this don't work, we'll take it out and we'll put it behind the meter and valve. That's the only two places it can go, right? Well, I probably. Oh, the switch ain't on. Let me turn the switch on because I'll try to see if that. All right. Pick clicks, we should be good. Uh, I was gonna get the uh, the starter. You didn't hear it click, did you? But maybe when it winds, it may it may go to clicking. Okay, so we'll turn it. You had it jammed. Yeah. Okay, now let's see. Let's see if it'll clear. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Read my mind. There it is. All right. Okay. She should fire now. All hey, right. Turn that around just in case you have to put that return on there pretty quick. Uh, yeah, this pipe's getting a little warm. You know? Yeah. We'll have to go steal your water if we get here there, dog. Uh, you got the top. Uh, okay, let me just make sure all these are tightened down. Clicking? Still clicking? Yeah. It ain't doing it, is it? Man, why is that? I mean, maybe it's that spring. 
Oh, it, I bet it didn't do it now because it went grounded. Because that grounding strap has to be grounded on where your hand's at right now. So th at least that one has to be tight. <coughs> it sparked so it's grounded. Uh, true. I wonder if I need a new fuel pump. I wouldn't think you need a new one. But I wouldn't say it don't need, it's got some slop in there on that fuel. Get it rebuilt. And this one being green, they bit it on sometime or another. Come off a of forestry. I mean, a, a green power unit or piece of farming. Yeah. All right, fellas. I mean, we're trying different things. You know, the definition of insanity is, is to try to do something over and over, expect different results, the same thing over and expect different results. So we're trying different things, but we're getting, for some, ha some reason, we're not making the connection. And like Wiley said, there's a spring in that metering valve and it may be too loose. Um, or we don't have the hook connected. I just don't think it's holding enough tension in when Of course, right. it didn't release then. I could have had it jammed in there. It's working now. Try again. There's a nice six tank wrench. I think there's a ball in there. You got a, something you can yeah. see. Maybe this will work. Maybe.
side. Well, he's lined up with him on the ground. I don't understand what's going on there.
มอกเ
Time to boom out. Yeah. The problem with this is I gotta be in it. It's a big one. It's this long one toward me. Yeah. Are you gonna sit in it? Get to the house. 
I think that's good, dude. Now I don't know how we're gonna get it off. Pull it with the winch and the skid steer. Did you do that? Yeah. How'd you do that? Took the fuel filter off over here. Okay. I don't know where oh what happened to my I don't know what happened to my screwdriver. Okay. This is not the ideal placement for this, but we only gotta go a couple miles, so we're gonna go super slow.
be honest with you, Wiley, that went way smoother than what I thought it was going to do. <laughs> uh. Okay, man, I'll tell you, it's an optical illusion, man, when you when that whole carriage is, is tilting like that. Yeah. All right, we got back to the house, so next couple videos, we're going to be taking cylinders off of it. Well, Wiley's going to be taking cylinders off of it. And, <laughs> and uh, we're going to get the fuel pump. I'll probably end up getting the fuel pump rebuilt um, and then fixing some leaks and using this thing around the farm. Appreciate you guys watching. Remember, read your Bibles. Take care. God bless you guys. I appreciate you.